guys. At the end, they always said, um, "By the way, I've got I've got a business idea. Can I have some money?" And uh, and obviously, at the time I was a student, I didn't have any money. I didn't know anything about business. Um, but I just thought it was really interesting, and I thought I found the culture really inspiring. That it, it seemed like in East Africa, because there's no real jobs. Yeah. Everybody just thinks about entrepreneurship. So you leave school and you think, like, how am I going to make money? Yeah. And you start selling shoes or clothes or farming or vegetables, right? And that's a totally different way of thinking about the world than in the UK, where it's always, what job am I going to get? So all through life you're thinking like, what, what am I going to study, what job am I going to get, whereas here it's what business am I going to start? Um, so I thought that was really, really interesting and, it, and it quite exciting. Um, and yeah, and then we got the idea of volunteering, we thought, okay, why don't we do it through volunteering? Because loads of people go and volunteer in Africa, but often they don't do very good volunteer projects, you know, they might, sometimes they'll, they'll teach where they don't need teaching or they'll build something when actually loads of people could build better. So a lot of volunteering isn't very good because it doesn't add a lot of value in the community but also the people that are volunteering don't get much out of it because they're not, they're not really using and developing their skills. So we thought, okay, let's do a volunteer project where we'll train people up in these entrepreneurship methodologies. They'll then work with local entrepreneurs to facilitate new business ideas and then hopefully that way we'll get, get exciting new businesses forming. Yeah. So me and Doug, we worked for like six, seven months. We got some money. Uh, we read books and watched videos. Basically, everything we could find about entrepreneurship, and um, and then we came up with this kind of curriculum. And then we went to Kenya, back to Nakuru again. And uh, this guy called Sebastian joined us from Chile. So during this time, I was speaking to some people on the internet, and Sebastian, um, we started talking because he was already teaching entrepreneurship in Chile, and he was giving us some tools and methodologies to use and eventually he said, oh, can I come to Kenya as well? Yeah, yeah. So we just started working with lots of young people, giving them the BMC, Marshmallow Challenge, different ideas. Um, and it was really cool, what worked, worked, worked really well, people liked it. Um, then our idea was we would just help these people develop ideas and then banks and microfinance could fund the best ideas. But obviously then we tried to get banks and microfinances to fund these ideas and nobody wanted to fund them. From Kenya? Yeah, yeah. because they were too that's risky. Yeah, yeah, that's risky. They were like, people were coming up with ideas like they wanted to start a childcare or they wanted to start like a baby care or they wanted to start a live music cafe or they wanted to start a career delivery service, like all really nice ideas. But like all, all really microfinance cares about is like getting their money the back. Money, yeah. Yeah. And these and these ideas were too risky, and also like the interest rates were too high, and there was no room for people to try stuff and maybe fail. And the thing is, in entrepreneurship, if you're going to create something new, you you need room to fail because not everything works, right? Yeah. Especially it's not trying. the first time. Yeah, yeah. So we thought, okay, um, we can't just therefore train. We also need to fund. And then we met this SACO called Hope and Vision that were already funding young people, and we thought this is. Okay. So that's how we started. So then yeah, the first year we, on our first program we just got six people to come with us. So six people travelled for eight weeks. Um, and the next program we had ten people. And then the next year there was like 52. And then after that it was 80. And I think next year we'll have like 600 volunteers. So it's just growing like that. So yeah, our first, our first program was in 2012. 16 volunteers and, yeah, and in 2017 we'll have 600. So it was just, it was all like that really. And then yeah, we started in Uganda maybe in 2015. We started in Kenya, grew to three or four communities there, then started a program in Uganda, um, in Bale, and then we're going to start in Tora and Aganga. We have a program in Ghana, and we have a small one in the Philippines. So those, those are going to be the four countries that we'll focus on.